Thanks for joining us on ESPNU for this D-League battle between the Santa Cruz Warriors and Rio Grande Valley Vipers. A rematch of the 2013 D-League Finals. Darren Johnson misses the layup, but there's the number eight prospect in the D-League, Rafael Putney, to finish things up. He is averaging just under three blocks per game, third in the D-League. Darren Johnson misfires from the corner. RGV loves its threes. Very prolific three-point shooting team. Ronnie Brewer, there's a name some of you might know. An eight-year NBA veteran. Had some really good four early points for Elliott. You think Santa Cruz is happy to have him back? Well, without him in the lineup, Santa Cruz was one in nine, and they have lost 12 of their last 13 overall, the Santa Cruz Warriors. Jaron Johnson with the three. Uh, you mentioned the fact that RGV loves shooting the three. You're absolutely right. They are take the fourth most attempts per game in the league, just under 29. Now, of course, they play just like the Houston Rockets do, who are second in the NBA in three-point attempts per game. Elliott Williams answers back with a triple of his own. He has seven. This is Denzel Livingston. One bucket for him. Joshua Smith, former UCLA Bruin and Georgetown Hoya. Very prolific inside, 67% from the floor, misfires on that hook. Yeah, when he misses a shot that close to the basket, it's it's newsworthy. All right. Will Cummings played a temple of the Jaron Johnson. Putney, high archer, well short that time. But a very prolific three-point shooter in that 38.18 rebound game against the Mad Ants. He hit six threes and 11 attempts. And for those of you who are not aware, the showcase was right here in Santa Cruz. So he clearly likes shooting here at Kaiser Permanente Arena. Williams all alone. RGV basketball. In one location, each team plays two games in, games in front of NBA scouts and execs and a lot of call-ups happen out of the showcase. This year, Elliott Williams and Lorenzo Brown got call-ups straight out of the showcase before they even played a game. Darren Johnson short. Tracks down his own miss. Straight out of the showcase before they even played a game. Darren Johnson short. Tracks down his own miss. He's a high flyer and one for Jaron. And Elliot Williams. He was out of basketball for a couple of months and was we talked about the number eight prospect in the D League. Also was at that open tryout and made the team. And now look at him. He's on the verge of possibly playing in the NBA. Brewer with the lefty finish, not quite. That's one thing RGV over the years does very Daniels. Of course, Troy Daniels down with the Charlotte Horts and playing very well for them as well as Koshwall finishes at the rim. Mack with his first bucket. Putney left alone, and he buries the triple. Oh, those are the two key words, left alone, Santa Cruz. Key words, left alone, Santa Cruz does not want to see Putney have any space. Or he is going to cause them problems all night and tomorrow because these teams will be right back at it. Hobson can't answer back. Chris Walker tracks it down, former McDonald's All-American. Who basically said, Cummings, don't even try. Well, Putney. Well, I guarantee you that when Santa Cruz head coach Casey Hill was going over the scouting report with his team, Putney was the first guy that he talked about, and he probably told it. His players do not let him get an open shot, and already he's had several. He missed an open one, too. Ox also had eight rebounds, three assists, and the first time for Santa Cruz is Daniel Walele, a sharpshooter out of Air Force. Jarvis three in for RGV. And the reality is, is if Putney does get called up for a 10-day contract, he's not going to be going up there to be a, a focal point of an offense. No. He would be a role player who needs to make his mark on the defense in Nikoshwald. He was thinking too much about the shot blocker, and it caused him to miss that shot. Williams with 10 now after those last two free throws. Hobson from the corner, and he's fouled. Hobson was not alive. I already got it downloaded, so I don't need to go. Myself as well. Very good app. Matt Carlino. Step back. 
short. He's 25% from everywhere on the floor coming into this game while Lele trying to save it in. And his un Williams almost slipped there. Aaron Kraft will get us back started in, the reigning D-League Defensive Player of the Year. Upson inside, knocks it down from 12. And he got away with an offensive foul there, and you could see Threet immediately turned. Knocks it down from 12. And he got away with an offensive foul there, and you could see Threet immediately turned around to try to let the referee know about it. Carlino, the dribbling display. Three to three, knocks it down, and that's been an issue for him this yes. season. Just 19% coming into this game from bonus distance. Seven. Carlino. Tries his luck baseline. Hobson, a good start, but rejected there by Chris Walker. Ooh, he really refused that ball screen. It's kind of a flat ball screen, and he was able to turn the corner, and no one in help side for Santa Cruz. Hobson on the face-up, Jay, too strong. Just get out of the way and not try to stand in there and take a charge. Butney's put a few guys on posters in his day. Williams around the defense and makes it in. So crafty, the ability to escape the double team along. Walker missing the turnaround. 12 points for Williams already. Trying to set up Juan Lele, who can the trigger. And they're going to review that to see if it is more than five assists per game. Carlino all the way to the hoop. Behind the back from Kraft to Juan Lele. Not this time. A little bit of a heat check there from Juan Lele, who just knocked a three down a moment ago. Putney with 10 early points for the Snakes. How many different ways can you describe Viper? You got Snakes. I like it. Graf for Hobson, lays it in. Cool for a violation of team rules. He kind of found himself entering a situation where he wasn't sure what he was going to do, so he was drafted in the fifth round of the D-League draft and got off to a little bit of a slow start last year, but came on extremely strong over the final 14 games for RGV. He averaged 100. Going the other way, Skywalker with a flush. I know fans in Gainesville are probably saying right now, where was that for his two years in Florida? Yeah, he certainly had a disappointing career in Gainesville. Never really saw Ida thriving. 11 points, 8 rebounds. He's shooting 61% from the field, which is a number that is attainable when you have the athleticism yeah. that he just showcased a second ago. And he's doing that in under 23 minutes per game. Williams 0 for 2. Koshwal hustling inside. New possession for Santa Cruz. And they give it right back. Threes. Yeah. So I think that a new stat, if you're not just going to incorporate it overall with assists, let's keep track of assists for free throws. Smith rumbling inside. Can't finish. Amir Williams going back up. Stripped out of bounds. Now, come on. I know there's a bunch of ESPN analytics guy too casual with the basketball. He was jab stepping. Chris Walker with six now. Six loud points for RGV. Out to Hobson for three. Offensive rebound, Koshwal. Looney gets it back, lays it in. Rebound, Koshwal. Looney gets it back, lays it in. Kevon Looney is a guy who really took it to heart as a kid when his coach said, follow your shot. Because he always assumes that he is missing around the rim. He's not missing that one. Putney wide open. And that's one guy that if you're Santa Cruz, you got to be attached to at all times. Rafael Putney leads the D-League in main above the break threes. That's right wing to left wing. He has more than 60 of them now, including this game. Yeah, 
one a little short. And to be honest, Brewer overhelped too much there, too, off the dribble penetration, kicked it out. Putney could have taken the three right away, but he elected to pump fake and put it on the deck and try to get the step back. And there's the patented Elliott Williams step back. He has 21 now. And that could have been a foul, too. Josh Smith reached it. That'll be his second. Johnson walked to the free throw line. He thought he was going to get a couple freebies. You usually get continuation. Denzel Livingston misfiring. In professional basketball, that is. College basketball. Get continuation. Denzel Livingston misfiring. In professional basketball, that is. College basketball, don't think about it. Yeah, there's other games that are on ESPNU where you're not going to see those continuation calls. Ronnie Brewer lays it in, his second bucket. Cummings with the rock, he has six. They're gonna post up Joshua Smith. 6'10", 350. Using all that weight down low. Poshwall takes away the another miss. one right around the rim that he typically... The brand new NBA Saturday primetime on ABC begins this Saturday, and we tip it off with LeBron James and the Eastern Conference leading Cavaliers against the Chicago Bulls. It'll be Tyron Lue's debut taking over for the recently fired David Black. Coverage begins with NBA Countdown at 8. It's also streaming live on Watch ESPN. And the but Brooklyn will be getting a D-League team back. Well, they were affiliated with the Brooklyn Nets where the Springfield armor. The Long Island Nets will be coming to the D-League. And they will place that team in Long Island as Elliot Williams hammers it home. It has already named its team. The Greensboro Swarm, I like it. First Southeast team in the D-League in quite some time. Before the league originated, every team was in the SEC footprint. Three short from Jaron Johnson. Santa Cruz down by two. A game here with Santa Cruz. Had hip surgery back in August. The Golden State organization, along with Santa Cruz, easing him back into game shape. And he is going to be on some sort of minutes restriction here tonight, so we don't know how much we're going to see him play. Cummings. Oh, Can he lose to? The Stanford Cardinal. <laughs> there is a big Stanford University. Huh. Five minutes into the third. Hobson, the runner, no, Poshwell, yes. And Amir Williams had to step up and show on Darrington Hobson, and that allowed Koshwall the free reign, and he read it and timed it perfectly. Denzel Livingston with it out of Incarnate Word in San Antonio, off to Jaron Johnson. Livingston launches, drains it. He had a couple of huge threes against the Blue on Wednesday night. One to tie it up at the end of regulation. And another, that is a deep three. League right now for the Reno Bighorns, Chad Topper. He's a sharpshooter. Williams launches, drains. Elliot Williams putting on a show. He is north of 20. He is north of 25 points with 28. Cummings trying to answer back. Koshwal rips down the miss. On the miss. Williams playing like a man possessed tonight. Zings it to crack. Too strong on the three and off Amir Williams. Up of the season. Off for three. Thought about it. Five on the shot clock for the Vipers. Deep three from three off the backboard first, but tapped right to Jaron Johnson. Baseline drive and he's fouled by Hobbs. And you're right, Drew, no chance for a two-for-one here for Santa Cruz. Tonight, you just got to run your offense, try to get the best shot, and get back on defense, something that has been a problem for Santa Cruz here tonight. Trap has Walker on him, takes him to the rack. High off the glass, he scores. Well, typically, you see a guard who's going against a big guy try to... That was unorthodox for Kraft, just throwing that ball up high. Seven to shoot. 
Four to play here in the third. Three to crossover. Runner up, good off glass with two tenths of a second. That's the second bucket end of quarter for our An important first couple minutes of the fourth quarter here. Elliot Williams on the bench, and he is so key to Santa Cruz's success. Can RGV extend the lead with Williams a spectator? So far, that hasn't been the case. Carlino off on a triple attempt. Three. Through Williams' hands, finds Putney. Thought about the step back instead into the corner for Jaron Johnson, who airmails it. Uh, Putney just got to take that shot. You yeah. know, you always like to see a player. Kraft forces the travel. Kraft comes out, Williams back in, and he'll likely be on the floor for the rest of regulation. While Lele open in the corner, drains it. That's great action, Elliot Williams getting it. Just a one point lead for the Snakes. Putney sizing up Looney. Wanted the give and go, Carlino instead into the corner for three. Three at the end of the shot clock, no good. And Cutter banks it in. The double team came, and Josh Smith skilled enough to recognize it and find the open teammate for the layup. Williams looking for 32, there it is, it's his eighth. 30-point game in the D-League this season. That's why William Mason just went into a brick wall in Josh Smith, who did not lose any ground whatsoever. Cummings now with 16 points. Williams free. Off for Verdell. Jones drills the triple. Four-point game. Santa Cruz not going anywhere. Four-point game. Santa Cruz not going anywhere. And the biggest lead for the Vipers tonight is nine. Had gotten the most separation they had in a while at seven, but like you said, the Warriors just have an answer seemingly every time. Big block inside, Williams pushing the pace. Big block inside, Williams pushing the pace. Now slows it down. Backing down on the smaller Cummings. Up with the left, almost banked it in. Looney, their weak side, and Matt Brozzi wants time. Well, it has been as high as a double team. And he just had too deep a post position for Santa Cruz to do anything about it. 72% in the paint for a reason. Hobson jacks up a three, planks it short. Good challenge by Putney. Definitely was in Hobson's mind. Williams, bad pass, kind of got off balance there. Denzel Livingston open from downtown, and he's fouled. Attempted coming out of the break, 20 yeah, and a block, a block yeah. instead of a steal. But all three free throws good for Denzel Livingston, who has 18 points. Livingston has never played for a team outside the state of Texas. Much needed bucket for Verdell Jones in Santa Cruz, his second field goal of the game. Smith, great ball movement there by the Vipers. Joshua Smith with nine. That's the deficit the C-Dubs face. Corner three from Jones, splashes it down. Free ice cream for everyone here in Santa Cruz. And to be Jones into the corner, gets it back. Hobson inside, Jones all alone, finishes over Walker, who retreated late to try to block the shot. Up top to Cummings, eight on the shot clock for the Snakes. Has Jones on him, gets the screen, two to shoot, has to hoist, he does, and Koshwal snares the miss. Still enough time for Santa Cruz just to get a quick two, but Verdell Jones. A chance to tie or take the lead here for SCW. Kraft can't tie the game. It was a beautiful move. Each time, 
Santa Cruz is 2-0 in overtime games this year. Now, will Santa Cruz go double Josh Smith again? Smith inside. Too strong. Koshwal another rebound. Now, the Warriors dodge a bullet there. Josh Smith once again had 12 points, 12 boards now for Koshwal. But it's college ball at DePaul. Here's Kraft. Storms to the rack. Out for Jones. Three on the way. Short. Hops in the rebound. Goes up the left. Misses. And a foul. Now, I'm not sure. 20 for Livingston. 80 seconds to play in the fifth period. Williams with Walker on him. Goes to work. High off the glass. No. Aaron Johnson right back at him, stripped by Aaron Kraft. Incredible instincts by Kraft. He was just staring at the basketball the whole time. And you just cannot bring the ball anywhere near Aaron Kraft without feeling a little bit uneasy. All alone in the corner, it's Kraft for three. And a timeout for his third. Season nine and four, and now 10 and 16. Vipers 13 and 10. Livingston from the angle. Tied ball game. How about that? Denzel Livingston. Not getting the two for one, so if they miss, RGD will get the final shot. What a turn of events. Williams sizing up Putney. Spins around him into the corner. Kraft with five. Pulls up from 12. It's short. Shot at 11 and a half. And now the Vipers can hold for one. They see. The ball thrown into the block. And it looks like Chris Walker is just going to sprint up. Here's three. Three to play. Sizing up Jones. Driving left. Off the glass. In and out. Oh, he almost had the buzzer beater. Built over the course of 78 days in the fall of 2012. Putney with five. Step back three. Can't rainbow at home. Kraft high for the miss. Good defense by Jones, not letting Putney get by him. High for the miss. Good defense by Jones, not letting Putney get by him. Forcing the long contested two. Putney actually had a foot on the line. Williams pulls up. He leaves it short as well. Cummings racing to the rim and brings it out. Point play. Now Darrington Hobson getting a crack at it. We've seen a lot of Elliot Williams in the pick and roll. Well, Jones misfiring from distance. Livingston the pull down. Fidel Jones has had a great 40 seconds to play in the first overtime. This game still hasn't been decided, obviously. Hobson driving to the hoop, lays it in, Santa Cruz back on top. And Matt Coswell, underrated part of that, that play, sealing off Chris Walker, who was not able to try to help out and prevent Hobson from getting the layup. Putney driving, scoops inside, short. Coswell rips it away, gets it off the crap. And what a heads up play again from Coswell including the next ESPNU broadcast on February 9th. Hobson, eight to shoot. To the hoop again, tried to go up with his right, gets it back, can't muscle it home, and poked out a play off Santa Cruz. Hobson was looking for contact the whole time. Dribbling out the clock. They gotta go. Jaron Johnson posting up Smith, backing down on Koshwal, turns, gets it to the cutter, Johnson too strong, the tip is not there, Koshwal the rebound, the gets game. it away, and Santa Cruz hangs on 